this tutorial, I'll show you how to convert a marvelous designer skirt into 10 Sansa skirts, texture them and list them for sale in the Sansa marketplace, all in 26 minutes. So I've created the skirt on a Sansa avatar, and now I'm going to apply textures to the skirt to make it look different. I'm first going to change the color to white, so I can see the effect of the textures. And I'll start by applying some of these free textures, which we give on our website. I'll grab this texture here, drag it and drop it on the skirt. I also have a texturing video which explains more in depth how to texture marvelous clothes. So that looks nice. Let's change the waistband, its color, something that matches, maybe a black. You can also change the specularity to make it less or more shiny. Now to save time, I'm going to create all the product images in Marvelous Designer. Sansa requires an image of a minimum of 600 by 600 pixels. So to see what size my window here is, I'm going to go to Display, Environment, Show 3D Garment Window Size. And now Marvelous shows us in these red numbers the width and height of the garment window in pixels. So to get, for instance, 700 by 700, we just need to squish Marvelous Designer until the numbers show 700 and then squeeze the width also to make it 700. Now you can of course save out any size image from Marvelous without resizing the Marvelous window. I like to do that though because then I can see exactly what will be in the render and arrange it so it fits nicely. Now let's change the background. I'm going to make a solid fill and make it white. I'm also going to set the avatar to skin color. Now to save out this image, I'm going to go to File, Snapshot, 3D Window, and then name the file, and save it. Sansa requires a PNG, so make sure you save it as one. Here you have an option to change the width and height of your render. If you want to have it 700 by 700, make sure to type in those numbers. You can also save it of a transparent background if you want. Then in Sansa it's going to have a black background, which might not be nice if your clothes are dark and they don't stick out well. Better to format the background to the color you want and save it without transparency. Okay, save. Now we've got the first skirt image saved. Now let's go and export the skirt itself. Export, Sansa, name it. Wait for it to finish exporting. And there we've created our first skirt. Now let's create another one. If you want to scale the texture, take the texture transform tool, click on the texture and then use these controls here. You can also rotate it. You can also scale the texture if you want, change the waistband color, basically the same thing like with the first skirt. I'm going to make another nine skirts just by applying different textures, rotating them, scaling them, changing the waistband color, and each time exporting an image with the name of the skirt and then exporting the Sansa file. So as not to bore you, I'm going to speed up the video, but altogether it took me 12 minutes to export 10 skirts. So, now let's create Sansa skirts from these skirts we exported from Marvelous and list them in the Sansa marketplace. I'm going to open up my installed Sansa program, log into my account, then to import the clothes, go to your lookbook, select your look, female avatar for female clothing. I have another tutorial about a shirt where I show you how to make looks and edit them and delete them etc. So let's say customize this lady, go to the clothing, unselect the clothing she's wearing and then say add clothing, browse and bring in the first skirt that's the leopard, browse for the image of the leopard skirt, double click that, leopard skirt you can change the name if you want, 
I'll just leave it at that and then say import. You can upload several items at the same time, but right now Sansar is a bit buggy and sometimes the other one don't get uploaded properly, so just best do them one at a time. Add clothing. Next one. Tiger skirt. Import. Once it's successfully uploaded the skirt, it will appear here. And if you click on it, you can see it's now on the avatar. And it looks nice. So now I'm just going to repeat the same process with all the other skirts. Select the SAMD file, then the render, then name the skirt, change the name for the inventory to something that makes sense and easy to find and then import them. If you want to add additional images to your product listing, such as a skirt from the side or from the back or in a pose, you can apply the skirt to your model and then take screenshots. But if you want to create many products fast, you don't need to make extra screenshots, you can just use that one product image which we made already in Marvelous. So to sell the items, click this green uh, triangle here, say list item, create listing, and then edit listing for that item and then next one list item edit listing okay and then when you're done with listing all the items you can close sensor and then you can start editing your listings in my previous tutorial, I explained all about making listings. Basically, you can change the title, add a description, short one, long one, a few words. You can use the same description for multiple skirts, just change the kind of texture that the skirt has, or use different keywords. You can add one main image and up to nine extra ones, or just the one image. You can set a price or leave it at zero to give it for free. To list an item, check list this item and click save changes. And if you scroll up to the top of the page, once it's saved, you'll see that pop-up appearing. And then you can close the tab and move on to the next one. You can also click the Manage Listings link to check out your listings, and there you can see it's listed in the store. You can shut that and then continue with the next skirt. I'm just going to paste in the same description, load in the right image, change the title a bit, and then list it. There we go, we've created and listed 10 Sansa skirts in under 30 minutes. To see your products, click on the red Manage Listings button, or click on that profile icon and then click Manage Listings, where you can see all your skirts and clothes. If you click on that button, you can edit the listing, unlist it, or view the listing in the store. The Sales button will show you all your sales and free downloads. You can easily create many products for Sansar just by changing the texture on your clothes and listing the same garment again. We have several packs of free seamless fabric textures on our site, as well as a huge library of hundreds of beautiful seamless fabric textures created from images of real materials. The library includes floral designs, beautiful batiks, sweatshirt knits, camouflage, stars, realistic burlap, leopard prints, zigzags, herringbone, mystical swirls and dots, stripes, leaves, glitter, fiery designs, and more. I've made a video showing how easy it is to change the color of one texture to create endless other variations. With this huge library, you can create thousands of unique Sansa clothes from each marvelous designer garment. You can also use these textures to texture or render any other 3D clothes in any program as well as to beautify and enhance your interiors. Thanks for watching and all the best creating Sansa clothes!